Hello everybody, my name is Teddy Bear Boy, and welcome to the sixth episode of Castlevania Aria of Sorrow. Last time, we managed to get the elusive double jump, as well as beating another boss and just exploring around. Now in this episode, we're going to be doing a bit more exploring. Since we managed to loop back to the beginning, we have a lot more to do. But not in the castle corridor. No, we're going down. Into the reservoir. Heck, there goes that money. Ah, uh, it was one dollar anyways. So yeah, this is where the game begins to open up a lot more. Things become a little less linear, and it's just a fun time. Hmm. Wait, we seriously can't get up there? I'm a little shocked by that, honestly. Well, I guess we just need to get going then. I'm sorry for that, my, my lord. <laughs> A completely pointless detour. If I titled the video that, no one would probably want to watch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Well, we can definitely make a bit of forward progress. So let's go for what's immediately forward, I think. That would really sting if we could have gotten here with just the flying armor. You know what? I'm gonna test that. Ow. I still suck at dodging axe armor attacks. Okay, now we kind of got in here with just that. Ooh. Is that a lance I see? I would assume that's a lance. Not much else it could be. Let's start by inspecting this top area. Oh! The Siren. Interesting enemy. Okay, it's actually here where the weapon is. It is a lance. Let's check it out. Long spear used by cavalry soldiers. Oh, god lord, that is slow. My, my, if it isn't powerful, that's 51 attack. You know what, let's just try it on the siren, see how much damage we do. 61. Yeah, the, the attack speed is definitely bad, but if you can get over that... This is a really useful weapon. I think I'm going to use it a bit longer. Just just as a sort of inspection of the weapon, I guess. Alright, I have Peeping Eye equipped. I don't need to be cautious about every single wall. Well, we already have a new area. The Dance Hall. This area is a little annoying, so I'm probably going to actually switch back to the weapon I was using before. I believe it was the broadsword. Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> New character. <clears throat> Strange. I sense a dark power within you. Who are you? 
it's rude to ask questions before introducing yourself. Yes, you're right. I can't give you my name, but people call me Jay. People call you Jay? Why hide your real name? Are you a criminal? No, I have amnesia. I'm told that I was in an accident in 1999. When I woke up in the hospital, I had forgotten my name and passed. Oh, I see. Well, my name is Selma. Your dark power. Were you born with it? I don't really know. I first noticed it when I entered this castle. I see. I guess I was mistaken. Mr. J. <laughs> Mr. J? Oh, yes. Mr. J, why have you come to this castle? Call me J. I'm filled with fear when I hear the name Dracula. I came here because of the prophecy. I also thought my memory might return. In fact, since my arrival, I felt like my memory was returning. And your accident occurred in 1999? Maybe Dracula was involved. I fear you're correct. Especially since I have magical powers. Jay, are you an exorcist? Well, you might say that. But I work for no one but myself. I must be going now. I'm sure we'll meet again. Yeah. See ya. Jay... A man who was related to the incident with Dracula in 1999. Definitely interesting. Alright, let's go here. Okay, we have a lot of ghost dancers. Let's actually check the map. Hmm. Well, it looks as if there's actually no major difference, and it looks as if there's a hallway that leads somewhere else. So, let's go here, then. We have a Minotaur, so... And, of course, another narrow passage we can't go down. But we're definitely, wanna... we're definitely going to want to keep that in mind. Please word today, my man. Okay, so... Yeah, it looks like this way basically just leads to nothing but dead ends. So we're gonna explore here. Because exploration is the king in these games. Okay, two Quetzalcoatls. Okay, that's very scary. Okay, killer doll. I don't like you. Skeleton knight, you can go. Hey, more MP. Thanks. Okay. I definitely don't like that. Nemesis. Okay, Resident Evil. Yeah, we're gonna need to go back through that screen. Oh, hey! It's another warp room. That's good. Very useful to know that there's a warp room right here. Okay, it takes six hits to defeat an Nemesis at this point. Jerk. Ow. Yeah, this game gets really brutal, especially if you're not using healing items. Or saving frequently, for that matter. Eh, 
And it looks as if that's most of this half explored. Oh, there's a good weapon there, it looks like. Yeah, it looks... Okay, so this one's just a few hallways. Just some zombie officers we need to deal with. And look who it is. It's Creaking Skull. Back at it. Yeah, this was our first boss, so now we're seeing him as a regular enemy. Yeah, this is something the game does, like, with four of the bosses. It shows them as regular enemies later on. Oh, crap. That's a wooden golem. Uh, I'm going to heal. The wooden golem is, well, he's tough. And I'm going to heal again with tasty meat. Gives a lot of experience, though. Just really tough foe to beat nonetheless. I'm probably going to ignore most of these killer dolls. They do nothing for me. Except cause me pain and havoc. Okay, we really need to watch the hit points now. Okay. Okay, we need to watch it. Backdashing is so freaking useful, oh my goodness. What? A battle axe? a lot of attack and a pretty decent speed too. It's very short range though, my lord, but that is 71 attack. I think I'm gonna keep this equipped for a bit. Like, oh my goodness, that damage. Yeah, it's pretty slow. Like, there's a lot of recovery on it, but still, that is... Oh my lord, that's... That attacks, that is great. There we go, we beat that guy. Yeah, we just, we just annihilate everything, oh my goodness. Okay, so I believe there should be a save room nearby, but, and I think we're going to end things off there. Oh my lord. Well, we have another item there we can't use. Oh, the evil butchers in this room have a different color palette. I hate Fleeman so much. Oh no, no. Okay, so, um, I'm going to use some mind ups. And if I get low on HP, I'm probably going to use that melon. And for souls, I'm probably going to switch over to student witch. It's the power of the cats, I'm telling you, my guys. They are... They are wonderful. Oh, 
I'm hoping this is a save point because that is a boss door. Actually, you know what? Ooh. Now here we have a very interesting situation. Do we do we save and then fight the boss and end the video there? You know what? Yeah, I'm thinking we fight a boss. Let's just save just in case. Oh, we're level 12 for this fight. Ladies and gentlemen, meet the big golem. Yeah, he's tough. Okay, so I'm probably going to want to... Let's actually equip, like, the whip sword, maybe. Okay, so he's vulnerable at his legs, so yeah. Keeping a distance is pretty important. Because he does a lot of damage. But his attacks are pretty telegraphed, too. But yeah, long range is important in this fight. Okay. Please, please just die. Face the power of the cats. <laughs> the cats killed him, oh my goodness. Okay. There was definitely something here, but now we got this skeleton blaze ability. We can slide by pressing down and the jump button, which for me is A, for you, you can config it, whatever really, but we got a new movement tool. That's good stuff. Oh, Evil Butcher throws sharpened butcher knives. Let's quickly throw that, show that off. Yeah, it's much like the dagger sub weapon from Castlevania games. Either way, yeah, this was a really eventful episode. This has been Teddy Bear Boy. I'll see you all next time.